Hello and welcome everybody to One Fred Jones Plays Minecraft. This is One Fred Jones. So today we got a big project planned. I want to work on a spawner. Um, I'm not ready to build the spawner in the nether with the blazes just yet, but I do need XP. So I found two zombie spawners underground just right below us, and we're going to try to link them together. But first, let's go check out our chickens at our farm. Talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, my schedule and everything I got going on. This little guy got out. I wish one of you guys would put in the comments how come these chickens keep getting out. I just killed all the adult chickens I had, and all we got left is all these little babies. But that guy was inside the pen before I went inside the house a second ago. Where'd he go? There he is right there. How do you get out? Huh? How do you get out? You're not going to tell me? All right, fine. So let's go over here and see what kind of uh, crops we got going on. But uh, yeah, I want to talk to you guys about my schedule a little bit. Um, as some of you know, I've started doing Riskcraft. It's a SMP um, server multiplayer. Uh, Monkey Boy's on there, my brother, and uh, we've been having a good time. I want to try to basically split my time between the Riskcraft server and my Let's Play. Um, so is what I'm going to try to do is, you know, I've got a full-time job. I work up to 70 hours a week at my full-time job, and um, I have a wife that needs my attention as well. So I'm not going to try to overdo myself, but I am going to try to do, you know, a video every other day, and I'm going to try to do uh, Riskcraft one day, and then two days later you'll get a, a Let's Play video. But having said that, Let's talk about our, our crops here. And I want to keep a lot of potatoes in stock because I'm going to be eating a lot of potatoes. And the carrots really are going to be for potions and for breeding pigs. We don't even have any pigs right now. So this is what I want the most of. This is just going to be for the chickens and the, the cows and stuff. So we really don't need that much of that. So this is kind of what I want to keep in inventory. Now, of course, whenever all those are full, then we can with the with the setup we have now we can just if we don't need any carrots we don't have to harvest them if we don't need any pear, or potatoes we don't need, to, don't need to harvest those either so right now we are low on potatoes they're not grown yet so we're not gonna harvest anything yet maybe by the end of the episode uh, we'll harvest and maybe by the end of the episode you'll tell me how you got out no you sure don't go too far. I'm going to kill you later. All right, so let's get down here where this zombie spawner is. I want to show you guys what I found. It's pretty cool. If we can link them together, it's going to be really awesome. I don't think I've seen anybody link two zombie spawners together, probably because they're zombie spawners and no one really cares to link them together. But it'd be kind of fun to try. Something else, I mean, I should have showed you guys, but I've got two and a half stacks of slime balls. After I cleared this cave out, there are just slimes everywhere. I lit it all up to where the other mobs can't spawn in, so the only thing that's left is for the slimes to spawn in. And they're spawning in like crazy. Alright, so here's our first one. Well, that's not the first one. I found this one after I found this one down here. Now, you guys seen me, I think, episode 2 or 3 maybe? We found this one down here. Voila. And then later I found this one up here. And as you can tell, the only main difference between these two spawners is the fact that their their height is so different. They're really not that far apart laterally. But their height is the difference. Let's go ahead and I'll get down here and I'll show you the chords to this one. Um, this one's negative 127. 16, 294, and the other one is, get back up here, so you can hear them slimes, it's crazy, they're all over the place in here, and this one is at, let's go right in here, negative 139, 42, 
311. And I already did the math on it. Um, they're only 12 blocks difference on the X. They're 26 blocks difference on the Y, which is our height. And then there's 17 blocks difference on the Z coordinates. So I've already kind of started a little bit down here. I, it's what I think the best thing to do at this point is try to get line of sight between the two spawners. So that means I'm going to have to clear all this stuff out so we can get line of sight on these guys. Once I've got line of sight, I can get a good idea exactly where I need to go or where, where we will need to move them to get them outside of their 16 block range. As most of you know, we have to get the zombies 16 blocks away from the spawner in order for these guys to continue to spawn. So I cut this out already and right here where we stand we're right below the other one. See 139, 311. The only difference is we're 26 blocks below it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear these out and try to get line of sight between the two spawners. That'll help me mostly to try to figure out what we need to do as far as linking them together. And I'll be back. Alright guys, well I uh, did the line of sight thing. Here's the one spawner and if you look up there to where that cobblestone mess is, if I remove that cobblestone you could see all the way to the other spawner. But uh, in doing this I realized that <clears throat> either something has changed or I was way off base to begin with. But um, this isn't going to work and I'll show you why. So here's our spawner. If we go out 15 blocks this direction you can still see that spawner's got the fire around it. If we knock out this block, which will be 16, fire's gone. You just see the zombie in there spinning around like crazy. Okay, so I've actually outlined this in a little semi, well, it'd be about a quarter of a circle, I guess. Does the same over here. We're within 15, this is the 15th block right here. If we go 16, no more fire. We go 15, we see the fire again. Let's knock this torch out just so you don't get confused. So fire there, no fire. Fire again. So inside this little half circle right here or three quarter circle or quarter circle, as long as we stay inside here it'll spawn. But the second we go outside there no spawning inside outside so I had always thought that it was a, f a 30 by 30 by 30 area so that would mean 15 blocks this direction 15 blocks that direction 15 that direction and 15 that direction but it's not um, if we lay out our blocks 1 2 3 in a di diagonal area our diagonal line we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven is the last spot that we can actually stand in and they will spawn so it's more of a sphere the higher you go up the further in you have to go so that puts us right outside of the range of our other guy it's uh, actually a two block difference so I can't stand in one area and have both spawners spawn zombies so now that I probably confused the crap out of you I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, we're not gonna do anything with this one for now uh, if maybe if something changes or or we figure out something else we want to do we will do something with that one but for now the one that's up there is the one we're gonna work on and I'm just gonna make it into a boring old traditional um, zombie spawner but I'll go up to where it's at what did I pass no I didn't pass it bats all over the place bats and slimes all over the place I had to have passed something is it this far up no, it's right here. I did pass it. 
Yeah, see this is where our cobblestone mess is. Let's see. I'll show you guys. If we stand right here, you can see that thing is is uh, getting ready to spawn. If we look back at our other one, you can barely see the bottom of it right here. It's not flaming. Jump up. There it starts to flame. So right there, that one's ready to spawn, but that one is not. And if we jump down here, Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. So this one right here is ready to go when we're standing not on this block, but this block. And that one is not, that one's not spawning. Neither is that one when we're standing here. Now that one is spawning, but that one is not. So, not to confuse you anymore, but that's why we cannot link these two together. Um, I had always thought that it was a, a square, more of a square than a sphere. Now either they've changed it or I was wrong to begin with. I have a pretty good feeling that they changed it though. So we'll go up here to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and fill all this in and uh, get started on making this into just a regular old boring spawner. But um, like I said, if, if something changes or I think of something else we can do with that other one, we will. But for now, this is our guy. Okay, time for an update. So here's our spawn room, where the spawner is. And uh, we'll flush these zombies that direction into a tube here that will carry them up into our kill room. Now I'll show you the kill room. If we go right up here, it's directly above our spawn room. The reason why I did that is because I wanted it as close to the surface as I possibly could get it. And using the mechanics that we learned earlier, we're going to set this thing up just right. So this torch right here is exactly 12 blocks above the spawner. Exactly. And then right over here is where we're going to kill the zombies. So they'll come up that tube and then they'll land right there and we'll use a lava softener to... Uh, soften them up and then we'll hit them with a potion or something to kill them. But something is important to know is that we have to be within that 15 blocks of the spawner where our zombies they need to be outside that area. So I think that if we stand here and we put them out here it'll be perfect where well, they'll land there and they can build up to a hundred zombies or whatever and that spawner down below us will continue to spawn as long as we're standing in this area right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the, the tube to bring them up here and I might even um, set up the lava softener um, and show you guys how that works and then we'll test it. Okay guys well I think we got it. Um, let's go down here and ride the ride. Ooh make sure everything works properly go in here and act like we're a zombie I'm a zombie go in here up this direction should push me towards the kill room like so and it does then I fall down in here and then I get softened so that works so I'll show you the softener real quick. Got a dispenser right here with the bucket of lava in it. Button on here. Of course, I'm going to you know, clean all this up and make it look good. Probably before next episode. But um, you got a button right here on this block, which goes into a four tick repeater, which goes into a sticky piston with the block, which is actually a monostable circuit. And you got this redstone torch next to your dispenser. Now, when you press the button, is what's going to happen is that dispenser is going to become unpowered, and when it does, it's going to spit out some lava. Now, also at the same time, just like on that RS Norlatch I made the other day, it's also going to send a pulse, or a, a yeah, a pulse this direction into this monostable circuit, and it's going to pulse this thing again. That way, we get two pulses. So, I'll show you how it works. Press the button. Lava out, lava in. One more time. Lava out, lava in. Perfect. 
So now let's go down here one more time. Let's get all those torches out of the spawn area. That one block I've got in the middle of the way. Get that. Go ahead and get... Ooh, shoot, no, not in there. Okay. Throw a block down right there. So let's kill that one, that torch there, that torch there. Let's knock this block off the top. Like so. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Um, go away, please. Knock that one off. Get all these torches off. Make this room as dark as possible. Okay, that's all the torches, correct? Yes. Get this block. Cool. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put that there. And let's kind of look inside and watch you know, They're doing a fine job of spawning. Good job, boys. Spawn it up. Now let's go over here, up top, to our kill room. Make sure everything's working okay over there. Let's see. Okay, we got one guy. Two guys. Now he shouldn't have got hurt when he fell. That doesn't seem right. We'll see if we can't get them to build up. We'll stand right here on our torch and see if we can't get them to build up. I'll probably cut right here and uh, get back to you guys. Okay, it looks like we got it. We've uh, been sitting here for about 5 or 10 minutes or so. And uh, we've got plenty of zombies in there. Well over the limit that's allowed with inside the, uh, the 15 block range. So that tells me that we've got those guys in the right spot. we got our kill room in the right spot. Everything just right like we want it. Let's go ahead and uh, try the, the softener here real quick. One thing we have to keep in mind though is that zombies are going to be dropping in here after the lava hits these guys. So there's going to be some zombies that don't get softened. I need to... Well, I don't know exactly how I'll do it. I'll probably do it before the next episode. But I'll put in a piston that will stop these guys from coming up the tube while I'm killing these guys. That'll keep me from having to beat the crap out of zombies that haven't been softened yet. But let's go ahead and soften these guys. Something else we need to keep in mind is with the new zombie AI me killing these zombies right here so close to the surface if it were nighttime we'd have a ton of zombies trying to get me right now so I might have to do something about that I think there's a baby in there too either that or a guy's glitching through a block seems to be working very well though they're all one hit kills yeah that's a baby right there how tall are babies yeah he's He's a block and a half tall, probably. Okay, now we're down to the guys that um, haven't been softened. I'm just going to use my sword on these guys real quick, just to get rid of them. Well, I was going to use my sword. I might have... So, yeah, I got some iron in here, good deal. Oh, where did that guy come from? Oh, he must have fell through the ceiling. I guarantee that guy came from outside. That's awesome. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out something as far as that goes. Being so close to the surface. I do like um, how close we are to the surface. The access is easy. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. They just spawn in right there. It's crazy. I might die. Wow. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to fix it to where they can't get down here in, or in here with us. I'm kind of afraid to hit them now. Alright, guys, well, that's, that's going to be the end of the episode. I want to say this is uh, Mumbo's design, Mumbo Jumbo. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.